Hello. Hi. Hello. This is Dan. We are back with Simulacra. Uh, last time we left off, we, uh, we were in possession of someone's phone. Someone named Anna. She had a weird message on her phone that played, and it sounded like something happened to her. And we're trying to figure out what happened and where she is in case she's in trouble. And also... It sounds like she's got some uh, love issues going on. So, yeah. Like, a love triangle? I mean, she she was dating this guy named Greg, but she's on some kind of Tinder app, and she matched with somebody who she started talking to. So, yeah. Um, that's the thing. I, uh, I needed a minute from the last time, because... Jump scare got me. I was like, whoa, whoa, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I nearly jumped out of my seat with that one. Um, but today, uh, we're good. Calm down. Uh, I changed my pants. <laughs> Not really. I didn't do that. Who says I wear pants? Okay. Um, now that I weirded you out, now you're in the correct mood for us to continue this game. So let's, let's get into it. All right, and no one needs to know what happened. All right, something weird just happened. You got through Jabber? Yes, I did. What did you see? She literally just made a new post. Awesome. Send it to me. Jabber. This was not here earlier. I think this was the photo. That's her place. So she's at home? Then why isn't she answering? Maybe she's still there. Should have known. I'm going to have a look. It's going to take a while, so stay put. What was this thing again? Oh, we've got a new video. Damn, girl. Yeah. Ashley is so adorable. We were on the phone for hours, and I only said, like, two words. And like a good bestie, I sat through the entire thing. Good for you. I don't know what it is about her and guys. She's always, I don't know, self-conscious about it? I'm not like that with Greg. Mm. Yeah, but you don't have the best relationship Should with I him be? either. He's been good to me, I guess. Did he cheat on you? Whoa, the background. Uh, I'm guessing the background here is our place, but the light just like went out for a second there. Whoa, what? Dude. That was on Vlogger? I think you should keep looking. Boss looks like a mean dude. That's rough. She's a nice girl. I'd never be mean to a girl. I got go ahead and just to advance the uh the chat. Oh no, poor Anna. That sucks. Hey, you think she might I mean, if she was depressed enough. Uh, let's not jump to conclusions, my dude. Okay, forget what I said. Let's keep finding clues. What other mail emails did you find? I feel like I'm getting to know her better. Remember, if you need any help, I'm here. Gossip girl. Yeah, we just gossiped about her. Uh, I didn't want to gossip, but uh, the game wouldn't let me go any other way. Ashley. Hey, hey, need your help. Saw your Jabber post and looks like you're home. I want to check something. Sure, what is it? Remember I told you about my watch? Can you check if it's at your place? I can't seem to find it. Where did you last put it? Check by the sink? I remember taking it off in the bathroom. 
I will check later. I'll ask Greg. No worriers. Just let me know if you see it, okay? Sure. Sure. Can we can we ask Greg to 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 look for it? No. Okay, I'm here. Need your help to get into her place. Anna blocked my card. So immature. So to get my copy to work, I need to register as a guest, but they need an authorization code. And it has to be done through Anna's phone. Alright. That's us. Greg shared Tech Titan's contact. This is the security company you have to text. Please use this to request temporary access for house guest. Send the code when you get it. Make sure you enter my full name. Don't make me wait. Yeah, his name was Greg Summers, but I can't remember how to spell it. Um, where was that? Ashley sent you an auto recording. Let me go to, no, let me go home, phone, contacts, Greg, uh, Summers, as in the, uh, the season. All right, so that's Tech Titan. Contact received from Greg. Uh, hi, Mr. Tech. Titan Tech Remote Access Services. Hello, Anna. How can we help? Text invite guest or unblock. Invite guest. Please text the full name of your guest. Greg. Summers. Come on. View. Guess code for... So that's the code, so we just need to send this. All right. We're supposed to see something? I don't see anything. Uh, what does it want me to text? Mm. All right, I don't know. Make sure you enter my full name. Don't make me wait. All right. Okay. We're just going to send it to him. Sent! Dude. It works. In the lift now. Can't believe my card work won't work anymore. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. Said I earned a frequent flyer card. God, I hope she's home. Okay, I'm at a doorstep now, but something's wrong. What? I can hear someone inside. Doesn't sound like her. Uh-oh. I'm going in. Oh, I don't know that he should. Maybe he should wait. Something's wrong. There was his voice. Or a sound. Fuck, I am recording this. I is it the TV? Nope, it switched off. Her cat is gone too. What? I can't- I don't see Toby anywhere. They took the cat?! What did you hear? I have no idea what I just heard. Listen for yourself. It's just static. Whoa! Sounds like talking? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. Anything that stand out? Her place is a mess. There are stuff all over the floor. She is really fussy about keeping things organized. A robbery? Her laptop's still here. Nothing else is missing. Find the source of the Jabber post, man. Her laptop is still warm. It's Jabber. She definitely posted something from here. Then where the hell is she? Her notebook is here, too. I'm gonna take a look. 
All of this just doesn't feel right. Something weird is going on. Damn it! Uh, there's gotta be a reasonable explanation, right? Yeah? Well, tough luck. Nothing is reasonable so far. I guess that's true. Wait! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Close! Don't wipe! No. What did you do? Dude, you sent a remote wipe from her to her computer. What did I do? Are you trying to delete her phone? Dude, hurry it up! Me delete what? I'm not doing anything. Did you do something? Don't you dare delete anything. We need as much info to find Anna. I'm on a clock here. Timed factory reset, the hell? Calm the fuck down. Tell me what is happening. You said data is reset or something? How did it happen? It's from Anna's laptop. Yeah, Anna home PC. Okay, just hang on, let me check her laptop. Shit, I see it too. Remote delete all data? How the fuck did that happen? I didn't touch anything. Stop talking and start helping. Okay, okay. Fuck, I can't remember how to work this. It's the same software she got for me. <sighs> Tell me what you see! What do you see? Hang on. I see it! Oh, fuck me. To turn it off, I need to answer some security questions. There are three. Her cat's name, her company's name, her Iris OS version name. You can put it in any order, but we've only got three strikes. Company's name. Uh, oh, sh shoot. Uh, uh, applesauce. No! Rebooting. Dude, her phone got wiped! I don't know, did I have enough time to uh, get that going? Uh, this phone uses your name for some features. Uh, let's just put in our name, I guess. I guess it's our phone now. For a more personalized experience, please answer the following questions. How old are you? Um, let's just say we're 21. Where is your home country or region? U.S.A. Are you a new user or an experienced user? Um, let's just say we're new. If needed, would you like to manually configure new settings or allow the phone to do it for you automatically? Let's go auto. Do you like to back up your phone often or occasionally? Often. Do you like to sleep late or sleep early? <laughs> late. What is your favorite kind of smell? Uh, food? What part of an animal do you prefer to eat? Um, let's go ribs. Tell me about your saddest moment in life. Uh, these are... Uh, can I use my keyboard here? Um... Hmm. I don't know. Let's just say... Death. Oh, I can use a keyboard. You have to tell me more. Ah, uh, I don't know. Death of a loved one. You have to tell me more. And the consequences following it. That enough? Are you paranoid that your phone or laptop camera might be recording your every move? <laughs> yeah, it definitely is, right? Government and Google and Apple. 
If everyone can only tell the truth all the time, do you think this will make the world a better place or a worse place? I think if nobody could tell a lie, it would be better just because people would know that they need to not lie and just avoid trying to trying to do anything anyways. You know, as far as lying, just, just avoid the subject. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Sure. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Ooh. I think I'd rather know the cause. Would you rather lose your mind or all your limbs? Uh, I guess my limbs. If you look behind you right now, would you rather see a floating disembodied head or a headless body? Oh my god. Uh, uh, I don't want to see either, to be honest. Headless body. Can I touch your hair? No. You agree to surrender all your personal data to Iris OS for the further improvement of your experience and other sources. Uh, no. Thank you. But if we know about, about the user, we can help you find them in case they go missing. Don't you agree? No, still decline. Too bad for Anna then. What? Your phone is now ready to be used. Dude! Uh... Whoa. Um... We helped... We failed in helping Greg stop the memory wipe. Uh, maybe this was something that we could have done, but can't do now. Uh, I'm sure that's going to affect the story somehow. Welcome. Congratulations, you're all set up as a user of Iris OS. We're always one step ahead in providing you with the support you need at your utmost convenience. Upmost? For access to our other services, please log in with your Iris email given below. Should you con need any further assistance, you should contact. Okay. Ah. Uh, yo, if it told me to turn around with the uh, headless body or disembodied head, oh. Oh, man. So freaking creepy. So creepy. Hi, Dan Guy. Welcome to Chats, your default messaging app powered by Iris OS. The service complimentary for a year from this date. After that, a yearly subscription fee will be charged. We hope to be of continued service to you. Remember, we are always watching over you. Your chat ID is Dan00. Well. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what was that? Yo! What? Uh, what's, what's going on? Um, uh, we got, did we somehow get Anna's phone back? Message corrupted you. You... You are safe? No. Ah, uh, damn it. Are you safe? Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Who is this? Don't you recognize me? It's voice. Do not. Super creepy right now. Whose voice? The one. The many. Its voice. Its voice. Do not believe it. Um, you must resist its words.
resist what? It's image. It's a lie. You must have seen it. I don't know, maybe? This, something is wrong. You are not Anna. I'm not. This is not Anna. No, 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 no. Anna! She will... be gone soon. Anna will be gone soon? What? How do I find her? It depends on it. the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping! That's the way universities work, girl. So weird. We, ha we have our phone again? It restored back somehow? Hello? Fuck. Please tell me it works. If the data's gone, I'm going to fucking kill you. I cannot lose Anna. I th the data's still here, I think. Thank God. Oh God. You fucking scared me. I thought we were going to lose our progress. Oh my God. Knocking on the fucking door. It scared the shit out of me. Ugh. Oh. Uh, th th I'm sure you heard it, right? And it's, oh, it, it got me totally because it sounded like it came from the left. And to the left of me is a window. And I thought someone was knocking on it. But we are not at, a, at an elevation where uh, you can easily just knock on my window. Especially as lousy, loudly as I, th oh, I heard it. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> It restored itself automatically. If it works, it works. I am not going to question it. This is too much weirdness for one day. Okay, here it is. I found something on our laptop. More clues? Something like that. There are some phone data backed up. One here, another one at a workstation. That means there might be more stuff on the phone than what you see now. We work with what we have. I'm restoring her from her laptop first. Great, let's get started. I think she's in trouble, man. Okay, it's starting. System restore. Restoring chats, restoring Spark, restoring email. Okay, it should be done now. Did you get it? Got a whole chunk of stuff. Yep. Finally, some progress. There is something else. I was looking through a notebook. 
Is there something you are not telling me? What are you implying? It says in her notebook that she met someone on Spark. Didn't you mention that she, she matched with some people on Spark? Yeah, it's Taylor. So you've been talking to this guy all the time? How much have you told him? I was very selective. You better not be lying. Did anyone ever taught you not to trust everything people say, especially if it's from online? Fucking basic common sense shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't even trust you. You're a stranger too. I mean, that's a fair point. I'm her fucking boyfriend, so you better stop listening to this, his crap and do as I say. Stay on the line. I'm going to make some calls. Get to the bottom of the spark thing. You know what? Screw you, buddy. Like, you are a stranger to me. I don't know that you're fucking her, her fucking boyfriend. She could have dumped you for all I know. Damn, lots of chats here. Ashley, recovered. He's been calling me for a few days. I've not been responding. Should I come over? I don't know. I keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Hugs. Toby's the only lover I need. First woman desperate enough to upright marry their cat. Time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Sounds terrible. Leave my shit jokes alone. Okay, so, I'm gonna call you later, okay? Yeah, okay. Love. Hey, how are you feeling, pretty girl? Bag of rocks. Bag of those bricks made out of poop they dry out. In developing desert communities, they use them to build amazing houses with decent installation, stabilize a small rural economy, and the nonprofit takes a glammy picture of the whoever people and the CEO, and you feel weird. Because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people, or is it promoting the CEO and their self-interest somehow? And, in the background of the pic, there are unused extra poop bricks, which will get rained on, return to a former but lesser poop form and eventually dry out in the sun, leaving nothing but a stain. And I am that stain. Woo! That's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be clapping. I've been reading a lot. Call me if you need anything, okay? She's a good friend, man. Hey there, handsome. Who, me? How you doing? About the same? Let's hang out tomorrow. I don't know. Pretty content in my angry, lonesome hole. Got a good book rhythm going. You know, Baud Baudrillard, Baudrillard is way ahead of his time. Who am I going to trust now when I turn on the TV? Why won't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I am hotter than your cultural commentary. Meh. Be my date. I'll be a good date. We'll get pretty and we'll go on the town. Eh, come on. Are you all right? What's gotten into you? Hello? Hey, um, God, I just read my text. Were you drunk? I'm so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night. And yeah. I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon. All right. I know. Yeah, Ashley. Dude, Ashley's got a thing for Anna. And that's why she is all crazy about the, uh, the boys. Hey, since it was the cat's birthday yesterday, when is your birthday again? If I can close the next client, you're in for a treat. You keep calling it the cat. It has a name, you know. You're avoiding the question. I know the month. You get three guesses, and if you screw all of them up, you let me drive your car. No. Yes. I could just ask Ashley. No cheating. Texting her. No. I win. I will get you for this. You will regret this day. Count your friends and fort your pillows, for you will need every comfort in the years ahead. Yes, I do not pity you at all. Haha. <laughs> hey, are we boring? What do you mean? 
when we were out last night, it was like everyone was 20-something, and they had some kind of futuristic job. A founder of a startup, game programmer, neuroscience researcher. You work at a surveillance company. I know. Not what I mean. Like, we just mainly go out, chill, chill and Toby. You're a salesman, and I work stupid big data bullshit. Are we basic? Are we normcore? White bread? I'm a salesman. I'm a salesman, so no question there. Dodging the question. 75% chance that at any given time, we're the most boring people in the room. But who cares? Are you bored of me? What? Fuck no. Where'd that come from? It's been bothering me. Last night, you didn't really want to dance. And I know you don't like dancing like I do anyway, but you seemed kind of upset about it. Haha, <laughs> no. I was just kind of tired. Yeah? Yes. Can we hang out again? Again tonight? I think maybe work stuff is getting to me. Can't. Why work? I guess maybe I'll hang out with Ashley. Okay. You'd tell me, right? Tell what? If you're hiding something. I told you, your present only comes on your birthday. It's not that. You are acting weird. You always say I'm a weirdo. Weirder than usual. An example would help. I don't know. Just a gut feeling. You're overthinking things. Promise me? Promise, every, promise me that everything is fine? What's gotten into you? Just do it, please. Okay, I promise. Everything is fine. I love you. Hey, you're mad. I can tell. You don't just storm out the house without saying anything. Tell me. Tell what? I want you to tell me why do you think I'm mad. Tell what? Oh. Got a pick here. This is what she, she saw on the phone. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, let's uh let's get started with this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. There we go. Paris and Kane extension zero four zero five. Yolanda, dude. Although that reminds me of a song. Donde estas, donde estas, Yolanda? Who the hell is Yolanda? You looked through my phone? I knew something was up. You could have fucking told me. How long were you going to wait? Fuck. I made a mistake. I can explain. Please do. She was the client I need for last month's target. We met a few times after work. She's persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything after that was not me. Bullshit. Anna. Oh, she found something else. Oh, I already know what it is. This, this is... This is sucky, guys. Alright, let's go with this one. And then... This one, this one, this one, and this one. Ah! Let's do this one first, and then this one. Damn it. There we go. It's conclusive. Have to try again tomorrow. Oh, she's pregnant, Yolanda. Oh, not pregnant. Um, oh, but she's saying it's inconclusive, so she needs to test again. Oh, man. I just heard a gasp to my left in the ear phones. Ugh. All right. You cheated on me and almost got her pregnant. This is unreal. I told you I'm not allowed to just get rid of clients. You're not allowed to fuck clients! Also true. She was the last clothes I needed. I know it's hard to believe. I don't fucking care. Anna, leave me the fuck alone, Greg. Anna, let me fix this. Fuck you, Greg. Wow. And you're saying that you're her boyfriend and all of that. Fuck you, bro. Elizabeth. Study leave. 
Anna, hey, I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. It's regarding that thing you brought up. Text me when you're in the office and I will explain. HR manager. Hi, Elizabeth. I am following up on the application of my two-week study leave. I've not heard from you since. I totally understand if it's not approved. I just need to know so I can prepare. Rainforest, rainforest shipment? Hello, Anna. The Consumer Society Myths and Structures has been shipped. The Singular Objects of Architecture has been shipped. Oh, this is Amazon. This is, yeah, Amazon Rainforest. Okay, yeah. Idiot. Um, and she ordered some books. Consumer Society Myths and Structures, The Singular Object of Architecture. All right, that, what is she looking up with architecture? Present Exchange, Merv, Tech Director. He did say he was, uh, wait, did he say that he was her secret Santa or whatever? Hey, Anna, looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know the gifts are meant to be secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm breaking tradition and will get you something that you truly deserve. Um, uh, tell me your dress size and I will pick the, wait, tell me your Um, tell me your body size, and I will pick the perfect dress for you. Okay, that was weird. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. A sheath dress would be perfect with a tighter and firmer bust to pair with those long legs. You would look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting, but if you have assets, you have to show it. Uh, or you're just a, a perv trying to get her dimensions. Dice Roll Insurance Weekly Newsletter. Ransom, when your life is worth money. Traveling has its perks. In fact, it is one of the best ways to make friends, experience global life, and bring back memorable videos and photos. Nothing tops that except going to space. Crossing borders has its charm, which includes, whether you realize it or not, subjecting yourself to individual countries and their legal or cultural quirks, crime being one of them. And among some of the more harrowing experiences, the kidnapping for ransom. Whoa, that just went dark. While armed robbery is not something to shrug off, the ordeal normally lasts no more than the robbers willing to hang around before undue attention or the police arrives. A kidnapping, however, is in the interest of the criminal to last as long as possible, to eke out greater financial demands upon the family whose member is now in the hands of rough, uncultured men across the ocean. Why has it got to be men? At times like this, reporters, police, and even politicians have their limits in moving the minds of the kidnappers. What they want is money, and while governments are all about not giving in to terrorists, the families have more practical matters to worry, such as the life of their loved ones. This is where insurance will come in. The K&R Insurance or Kidnap and Ransom Insurance are backed by most insurance companies, which become a valuable tool in the hands of families negotiating with the kidnappers. Normally, these premiums are rather high and meant for important members of companies or governments, but if you think you are traveling into dangerous areas and are an asset yourself, do take a look at the packages these companies offer. Remember, money can always be earned back, but lives are a one-way ticket. Although true, it is, uh, that's, a, that's a hard sell right there. Let's see. Whoa, she just commented? I am fine, just got cut up at work. That's all. Going to take a short break. Don't worry about me. I don't think so. Somebody posted that. Faraday, are you a very careful business owner that desires all around security? Oh wait, that was another post? I thought that was this one. 
Oh, jeez. Is that Greg? Is he the one that putting that out? All right. Hey, stranger, anything? Anna posted something on Jabber. Looks like she's chilling at home. I guess she is all right. I wish that was true. You know, maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just want to be left alone. You shouldn't make jokes right now. This is serious business, Taylor. Sorry. I'm all ears. What's up? So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He did, but no sign of her. Anna would have called her phone by now. She's okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't it sound a bit strange to you? Occam's razor. Occam. The simplest answer is most often correct. The easiest answer... No, it's usually the simplest. But it's not necessarily right. So let's say, hypothetically, there's a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna and he is hiding it from you. Man, I can't trust any of you guys. Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went, screw it, and chucked the phone away. As if. Also, this guy's got a British accent, and I live in the US. Which means that in all media, British people are the, the underlying secret boss villain. So, I'm on to you, Taylor. Why would you say that? I got my reasons, but think about it. What kind of person Greg is? Yeah, but what about you? I don't know anything about you either. He's kind of a dick. The phone's data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. He mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. Oh. He doesn't need to know all that. He's just He is kind of a dick, though. Anna's a pretty sweet gal. Why would she date someone like him? Being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. I agree with that. Verbal abuse can go quite far and does a lot to the psyche. Ah, uh, I don't want to... Game is making me say this. Phone's data was almost deleted. This is troubling. It is trying to obstruct justice? I think he is hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? But he also restored it, too. I don't think he did it. Said every guilty person ever. He did restore stuff to the phone, too. Aha! If they are indeed lovebirds, at most he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word? Maybe she is keeping him away. All I'm saying is, I think there is more to Greg than he is leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else he told you? Uh, she met someone on Spark. Right. Me. There is a possibility that a hot girl like Anna will get mashed more than once. Could be you. You could be the one that she was talking about. If I met her, our job would be done. And I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Don't you believe me? No, I don't. Well, you're not making this easy. It's way easier to prove that you met someone than you haven't met someone. You can trust me. Ugh. Fucking knocking again. Ugh. Scout's honor. I think before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. <sighs> the tension is just really getting to me, and uh, I'm getting so absorbed in this. It's... <gasps> <Woo>. <sighs> ah. 
I needed a second. Thanks, guys. Whew. Call them out. I got a ba new batch of phone stuff to look at. Like a backup? Yes. Great, he's hiding something. I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he will slip up and tell you something we don't know. Well, he, there is something we don't know. And here's the restored. Titanic. What? It's my icebreaker. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. People died, though. Why won't this go away? He's offline now. But there's still a little dot here. Weird. Weird. And weird. Call out Greg. Make sure Ashley never finds about... Uh... Ugh. Let's see. Do we get anything new in the gallery? We got a bunch of stuff. Chat videos? What is this? I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I this want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I yeah, serenade upon request. So this was requested. I would say send that back. Okay, okay, okay. Chat audio. I think this is all stuff that we uh, came across. Ten recordings. Yeah, we've listened to a number about that in that many. Videos. Oh yeah. Uh, we've seen these then. And camera. Yep. These are the pregnancy things that she saw. Okay. Taylor sent you an auto recording. Another random thought. What if Greg? Killed Anna. What if you did? Well, maybe kill is a strong word, but what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Huh. Sure, sure. Why are you insisting that? Anna left him because he cheated. Ha! Caught red handed. Or red fingered because it's in text. Okay, that sounded weird now that I typed it out. Who is the unlucky girl? Yolanda. Exotic name. You know, that sounds like motive to me. Detective Marillo. Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Yes. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious-looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? That was Greg. Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Greg was definitely there. Messy breakup. Leads to fighting. Leads to things get a little violent. Who knows? I think you should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion. Get it straight from the source. And that's that, yeah, that's a too scandalous for my taste. Hey, I think it's time to give him what he deserves. Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda. Find the truth. Dude, you were too harped on this too much. I feel like you seem like you were invested in this way, way too much. You should not be this invested. All right. I'm going to make some calls, get to the bottom of the spark thing. Uh, I guess we're just going to confront him. What? 
Uh, let's see. Let's talk about Anna's place. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. Um, let's go with... Let's talk about Anna's place. We'll just go straight to it. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? I told you, I didn't do anything. Are you calling me a liar? If I wanted the phone erased, why the hell do I back up the phone for you? Uh, hmm. I mean, if he, if he did erase the phone, could have just screwed up doing it. Because you screwed up. The only one screwing around is you. Why the sudden interest in me? This is not the time to be pointing fingers. Here I am, busting my balls to find her, and you are accusing me? What is she even to me? You should be just glad that I'm trying to help at all. What are you hiding? I hope you're done wasting my time. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. So you're a shrink now? What is there to talk about us? Why did she block you from her apartment? We had a fight, okay? How would I know she would block me? I just need to check if she is at home. Sounds like a troubled relationship. Couples fight all the time. Nothing a good talk can't solve. <sighs> I mean, if you are a couple that fights all the time to the degree where somebody has to get blocked from, um, get blocked from, um, someone's apartment, that's the sign of a bad couple. And no amount of talking is going to solve the underlying issues. Might solve it temporarily, but you're still just going to get to a point where you argue again. Something still doesn't add up. We are dating. Why are you bringing this up? Because I think she broke up with you. Yeah, she definitely did, dude. It's complicated, okay? If she wants to see someone else, she should tell me. Face to face. Or, you know what? If she dumped you like it looked like she did, I, there were texts saying... Oh, I think it was text that she said, get the, get the hell out of her life. Something to that degree. Like, at that point, she can do whatever she wants. What about my attitude? I have no time to deal with your feelings right now. You are... Yeah, he is verbally abusive. We're trying to help, and he's being a complete jerk. I'm really stressed out over here, okay? I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. Just deal with it. Maybe she's running from an abuser. The fuck? Are you implying that I am abusing her? Jesus. I would never physically harm Anna. Ever. End of discussion. Yeah, not physically. I mean, I don't think she's running from him. You say so. Watch the sarcasm. No, screw off. What's all with these accusations? Make your point. You were not completely honest with me. I don't, oh yeah, I don't think he is, but maybe he's also involved. I'm going to go with that. Now, why would I ever do that? To stop painting me as some kind of bad guy. You have nothing on me. So if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have proof. Okay, I will. You're not letting things go, are you? I don't have time for this. I am not going to entertain any more questions about my life. You have nothing on me. No, we definitely do. We definitely do. This one's new. Oh my god. What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? 
And he can do it looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Get you another man, girl. Why would he... You know what? I hope it's positive. Yeah, you can be happy with her. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. I looked through his phone. What if I didn't? That, that's true, though. I mean, honestly, if if he he broke the trust by cheating in the first place, and so her breaking his trust to look at his phone, I don't know. It's yeah, two wrongs, like she said, but still. Confront Yolanda about Greg's behavior. Make sure that Ashley never finds out. Find Anna. I guess we should try to contact Yolanda. Is she by any chance in the contacts? Nope. Yeah, Greg be trying a lot. Asshole. Whoa, what's this number? Greg, Ashley, bunch of moms. What is it? What does this connect to? The sea? I am present now. I love myself. I'm free from anger. I'm free from sadness. Love is my experience. I am present now. I love myself. It must be something that it just keeps her uh, centered or whatever. She only called it once. Wait, yeah, she called out. Okay. Greg, Ashley, Mom. All right, so let's check the pictures for Yolanda's number. Uh, chat images, no. Camera, here we go. Let's look for her number. It's way down here. Paris and Kane. Extension 0405. So there's a number for Paris and Kane. So, maybe that's in the contacts. Let's see. P. Paris and Kane. Nope. Uh, is it in an email? Uh, was that the insurance? No, uh, dice roll. Merv, Elizabeth, this is Faraday. The right thing, Jabber picked up. This is mom. Where is the number for Paris and Kane? Wait. Oh, that's Carrie. Um, hmm. Let's see. Paris and Kane. Oh, here we go. Paris and Kane. One eight eight zero. Paris Kane. One eight eight zero F A R I S K N E E. 
Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to ask about being a patron. Press 3 to find out more about our latest promo. If you wish to return to the main menu, thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Huh. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4 for shoes and footwear. Press 5 for gowns. Oh, I don't know. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to ask about being a patron. Press 3 to find out more about our latest promo. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press 0. Oh, I get the extension. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Maybe dresses. Press 2 for dress. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the four-digit extension go. number. Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is... Yolanda. Yolanda. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. All right. Yolanda, how may I assist you? Thanks, your, thanks for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda, and I will be your shopper today. How may I assist you? Hmm. I need your help for other matters. I'm afraid we do not do returns. You have to contact HQ for that matter. I want to talk to you about Greg. Greg? Summers? Yep. Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? Yeah, so we both agree on something. So he ruined your life too. What else is new? Oh, are you pregnant? Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I am not getting involved with him again. He's looking for Anna. Why do you need me for that? I think he is fully capable of finding that perfect little bitch. Uh, she has gone missing. No one has heard from her. I uh, both. Uh, let's go with she has gone missing because something is reaching out using her accounts. As in missing? We need to call the police kind of missing? Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something to Hannah, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. Eh, that's probably true. So you two dated? Ha! More like a side girl booty call. He cheated. Oh yeah. I am all in for some casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I end up being the other girl. Yeah, nobody wants to be the other girl. Just, I mean, she was up for it. She's just broken it off with uh, Anna. and just, You could do whatever you want at that point. Uh, how did it end? When it comes down to making a choice, of course, he went for Anna. And I get the half ass voicemail breakup. Hey, Yolanda, I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Like, immediately. It's not just that it's 
I mean, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? No hard feelings. Wow. What a shithead. It all makes sense now, yep. You have your dirt now. So are we done? At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If he only he knows how to show it, now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. Yeah, cause now you look like the hussy that tried to steal him away. It's not your fault. It isn't. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. I gotta get back to work now. Brandon K. I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. Yeah, when you got something like Twitter, things go... Knocking, man. The knocking. Right. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Love is being there. Love is being honest. Love is being belonging. Love is patience. Hmm. I agree with everything she's saying. Love is yeah, it's tough for her right now. It hurts, yeah. It really can hurt. Lots of people do lots of stuff in the name of love. What is your deal? Seriously, where's your head at? You, Londa just called me. I just want to know the full story. No. I don't care about your excuses. Well, screw off. You have crossed the line. She is pissed and confused. And you brought her into this mess. I had to be sure. My personal affairs has nothing to do with you. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now that it's out in the open, would you stop digging into my, per into my life and get back on track? Yeah. Only because you asked so nicely. Just stop and use your head for just one second. Have you considered that what's-his-face from Spark is just dicking you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? I said that earlier! Makes a lot of lewd jokes. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. Did sidetrack the investigation. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along, and you said that I am the one with things to hide. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He is eccentric. Well, I am not taking any chances with him. Look what I found. Spark-related crime soars increasing number of felons use dating apps to target victims. This is actually true. Dating apps have been linked to more than 500 crimes in and almost a third uh, our sex offenses figures show more than 500 people have been alleged victims of crimes ranging from murder and rape to child abuse as a result of using popular dating apps, data reveals. The figure comes after several arrests were made linking the crimes they've committed to the popular dating app. The way we meet potential partners and casual dating has seen a huge change as a result of the internet, social media, and mobile phone apps. The chief, chief executive of the National Sex Felon website, NSFW, 
James Sutton said, while online platforms such as Spark are making it easier for busy people to meet others, the risk of meeting someone who is abusive or physically violent also increases. It is concerning to see the, this rise in the number of victims involving dating apps and particularly worrying to hear of the number of young people falling victim to sexual offenses. He added, there are a number of ways to vet a, personal, a potential date before you decide to meet them face to face, which could protect you from a risky situation. Firstly, pick a username that doesn't reveal who you are. Also, take things slowly when it comes to sharing personal information or content with someone new online. Remember that they are still a stranger who you know little about. Similarly, it doesn't hurt to do some investigation of your own before you decide to meet up. See if this person you're interested in is on sites like Jabber. In extreme cases, there is no harm running through their names in our registry. If you do organize to meet someone face-to-face -face for the first time, make sure you arrange your date for a public space and ensure a friend or family number knows where you are and is at the end of the phone if things go badly. Finally, trust your instincts. If it doesn't feel quite right, don't be afraid to block or report this person or leave the date before the end. The NSFW registry is a publicly available database of registered sex felons that anyone can use. To feel safe about someone, just search using their name and a few basic details and you will find out the truth. You can find out more about the NSFW registry in the link below. All right. So first name. Ah, damn it. Forgot his name, man. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop right there. I uh, yeah. Woo. Okay. I'm stopping. I hope you can still join me for the next one and uh, you can hear me shit my pants again. <laughs> All right. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye.